Hey guys, it's your boy C to the Wata. Hi, how are you? And welcome back. So, let me get started. So what I'm going to use is I got a saucepan and I'm going to turn the eye on like it's almost hot but it's only a little bit above medium. Now I know that this can make a lot so I don't need to make a lot. I'm just going to take two dates. This is actually two. They're just squished together. I need some more water. I'm going to put this back in the freezer. There's something on my feet. Put some more water in there. I'm gonna get a big like going. Okay, let's go talk. Um, hi, my name is Ty. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I mainly enjoy, um, like having fun. And I like to do things. I like to watch movies when I'm bored and can't do something that's actually really fun like singing and dancing and just doing like group activity type stuff I like all types of stuff like that
And just in case you're wondering, I think that you're supposed to put the mask on the side. When it's got like those eye patches, you're supposed to put it where the eye patches can go like over. I didn't even know this had a nose part because I had I did this last week. The eye patches so that way, like if you were sitting back, you could put the eye patch over your eyes and close your eyes. That may sound simple, but I really was not thinking that. I was like, why is this so, like, why do they include this? Because it don't sit right on your skin because it's layered. Like, the thicker parts don't, like, sit right. Ooh, it's cold. I, um... I've been singing since I was like little. My grandma tells me all the time, like I used to sit on the bedside of my great grandma and I used to sing to her I don't really remember this I think I do but I think I only remember my grandma like telling me this because she's been telling me this for like a long long time My grandma's birthday is actually coming up. She swears that her birthday is the 22nd, but I could have sworn it was the 14th of August. But I got to figure out how I'm going to get home. And my mom's birthday is actually the 12th of July and my birthday is oh wow that's like a little wine my mom my grandma and me and my uncle Tony his birthday is actually um August 14th maybe that's why I was thinking of it but my birthday is in September That's my mom's brother. Okay. I think this is what it's going to be. I'm not going to put the little pads over my eyes. I'm just going to let them sit. I didn't know this nose thing because when I did it last time, I didn't know the nose thing he was there. I just push my nose through it. Oh, yeah. The more I do it, the better I get at it. I'm just going to drag some of this serum. <laughs> Make me beautiful. <laughs> now, I actually need to put it on the sniffles lately. Mm. 
I should probably go get my brush before I, and I'll just rub it on my hand and wash my hands off. This is some different oils. I don't know what it's mixed up with. I'm not like suggesting any of these products to you. I'm just showing you and just chilling. I actually am getting ready to make something with you. Making breakfast. Ooh, that feels so good, especially in that part that be itching. Oh, I think I dropped some on my neck too by mistake. Oh well. <laughs> I've had this idea, I think I actually came up with this idea early this year or either last year. And I was like, I want to do like a kind of like cooking show. But I was like, I knew that I wanted to do like a healthy lifestyle type cooking show. I knew that I wanted to do that. And so I told my cousin about this, and she was like, 360 episodes, 65 episodes? That sounds like a lot. I was like, yeah. I don't know. And so it took like, that was at least four, six months ago when I first brought this up. Okay. So this is a, this, the concept of this is just eating plain fruits and vegetables is like boring. So I wanted to make stuff that I think is like appealing, but also exciting. And a lot of the stuff that I'd be seeing people make, like just don't look good to me. Like it does look kind of like a lot of different stuff thrown together and I'm just like I don't want to make like bean burgers not crazy about tofu like what are we doing you know and I'm just like that's not like fruits and vegetables and I'm gonna try to eat as much of it as raw as possible but some of it will be cooked okay So this is going to be like a banana topped with, uh, um, I said like a sauce, but you can say it's a syrup, you can say it's a glaze, you can say it's a paste, and I'm going to top it with, um, I said crushed almonds, you could do whole almonds, since I'm taking my time, I might crush it up, but if it's too hard, then I'm going to leave them whole. I'm actually going to, my banana's not that big. I'm only going to use half of it. Then I'm going to cut this in half. So I feel like, I'm going to do six almonds. I got a knife. 
gonna we'll start chopping this up. I actually think six might be too many. One, I don't feel like chopping it up. Two, this is making a lot. <sighs> yeah, two almonds is enough. You see nice. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this. I thought I was gonna go ahead and peel this. So I'm going to try to do this even as possible. Now, try to do this as seamless as possible. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to save this because I have more recipes. I need banana for it and I don't have that much banana. And this is all I need for this one. Okay. Ooh. And that's my business. <laughs> I can definitely say watching Tabitha Brown and like her restaurant. I'm actually going to add this to my DoorDash restaurant. Because I'm coming up with new recipes and I want to add like a whole vegan section. So this, when I imagined it, I imagined it looser than what it's going to be because I made this type of stuff yesterday, but I didn't have the banana, so I couldn't do all of it, but it was just kind of thick. So I know it's probably going to be thick again today, but... I really don't... Um, 
it don't gotta be like that. So, I mean, it could, but I'm just gonna go ahead. These are the two dates. I'm just gonna mash it up and make it a paste. Like I said, it can be a paste, a sauce. I'm gonna have to make a sauce at some point, but because I'm not using no like bag sugar or um, Splenda type stuff. The only process like stuff you really gonna see is I'm gonna try to just use salt and pepper. I don't wanna have to pull out the Miss Dash because you know it ain't got no salt in it. But I'm gonna try to get like real herbs and spices and stuff. Cause I am supposed to um try to keep it as natural as possible. So this ain't really no um sauce. This is a paste, really, truly, honestly. Now I'm just gonna take my oh let me turn that thing off. But it's spread easy. As you can imagine, this is gonna be really, really sweet. Which I was like, that'll probably help me totally stick to this because I like sweet stuff. It's probably gonna be like unbearably sweet. I don't know. I don't know how bad this is gonna be for somebody. It can't be worse than a little Debbie cake, though, so. Oh, this, and it, you can kind of mold it and stuff. This spread really good, though. But it still, I think, would be pretty also if I had it, like, more liquidy and did, like, a drizzle. But after a minute, that might get ugly because... You know, stuff starts sliding and moving with liquids. I probably should plate it up and take a picture and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I probably am. Because low-key, all the stuff on my DoorDash restaurant is like nothing that I actually cook. So, I am also excited about adding stuff. Pictures of my own real pictures. And I'm just shaping it to the banana. This knife is really good for that. Loki, this is kind of fun. All right. And I think I'm going to take the almonds and sprinkle it. You could press them in. Especially if you don't want them to move around and stuff. I feel like this is like a really light, but super sweet, like tight breakfast type thing. And as it turns out, two dates are too many. <laughs> I probably just needed one. But I know for a fact, I don't want to eat that whole banana, so. Oh well. I guess if you made it thicker, but I know how sweet dates are. And bananas are sweet anyway, so this is gonna be sweet, 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 sweet. My 
Romans is getting on me. Getting on it. I guess I better just go ahead and use it. So this one has a really more thick layer of the um, date. I know that dates are sun dried, but I hope they're not like processed and cooked. I wouldn't think they were because Normally you find them in the fruit and vegetable section. I don't know, do they? They Some people who probably do it, like on big farms, they probably do have like a machine that dries them out, but that's still not putting nothing in them. I don't know. Does that mean like they don't have as much? Well, they probably definitely don't have as much vitamins and, vitamins and stuff as they would have had because I boiled them. That's what I'm trying to like cook is least amount of the stuff that I can. The almonds aren't cooked and the um bananas are not cooked and they're pretty fresh. The almonds, I have no idea how long they were in that bag because you know nuts and stuff can last for years. I have no idea. So, yeah, period, <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I don't know how to make that look pretty. <laughs> Banana breakfast bar. I like it because it's like BBB. I'm gonna eat one of them. I'll take a picture of the other. Banana breakfast bar. It's a banana with a date topping covered in almond sprinkles. Let's get into my mask. I have tried being vegan so many times.
<laughs> you know, this is good. I like it. My first thought was, I wouldn't be mad if there was more um, almonds on the top, but I know that I don't actually like almonds. I think this is fine. But I was like, it might be more pretty, I guess, if it was like a kind of like, you know how when stuff is covered in coconut and the coconut shreds cover it completely? Okay. Have a good day.